The fiscal cliff talks have bred a lot of uncertainty when it comes to tax rates, and if there is no agreement reached, there will be changes. Fox 11's Alex Ronalo talking with an accountant today about what kind of hit your paycheck would take in 2013 if we do go over the cliff. Barb Bader owns Fox Valley CPAs in Appleton. She says she's worried about the fiscal cliff, and so are her clients. Clients are very, very concerned. They will not necessarily notice that until they, the new tax law is in place and that their check will be smaller. Bader says the first change, if there's no agreement, is that the Bush era tax cuts will come to an end for all income levels. That means, among other increases, the capital gains tax will go up. Going up from 15 percent, which has been a very good preferred rate, up to 20 percent. But there's more. The marriage penalty is coming back. Meaning some married couples could pay an extra $2,000 in taxes each year. The estate tax would be set to change as well. Bader says right now, inheritances are taxed once they reach $5 million. If the fiscal cliff changes happen, the estate tax would be lowered to $1 million. So if you have more than a $1 million when you die and leave it to your children, they're going to pay taxes at the rate of 55% if this law is not changed. And something that would affect everyone is the Federal Insurance Contributions Act, or FICA, tax rate. That's the money taken out of your paycheck to fund Social Security. It was cut from 6.2% to 4.2% a few years ago. And that's 2% FICA tax reduction for all employees. This helped everyone. That is going away, and that will have a huge impact on everyone. That alone would mean a person making $50,000 a year would pay an extra $1,000 in taxes. These changes are all scheduled to take place if there is not an agreement by the end of the day, December 31st. There's so much uncertainty. No one can give you an answer on what to do. They can just tell you about what the uncertainty is. In Appleton, Alex Ronaldo, Fox 11 News.